family, welcome back to your channel. It is day after tragedy day. The Epsom salt, the alcohol rub, the Bengay, like your grandma used to use, literally has taken probably about 80% of the soreness out of my body. The only thing that's really left hurting is my elbows, which is, I think, probably what I hit first. So... I told you guys, I'm a trooper. I'm back, honey. She, well, can't not hold me down but a casket and death. That's it, okay? So, I thought today would be a pretty fun kind of a sort of video. The look that I have right now, in fact, I don't know if you can see my luscious mink lashes. Look at those lashes, girl. Mm-hmm. I actually just got finished filming a hair review for this video here, but I like to kind of mix up the videos, hair, something else, hair, something else, because you guys know how I feel about y'all going over there and watching the hair reviews, okay? Okay, we're not going to get into it again, but I thought today would be pretty fun because we're coming into the new year, for one. I'm excited about that because I just feel like new start freshness new ideas new plans for most people counting myself i told you i don't make new year's resolutions or anything like that i just kind of go with the flow and i may have an idea that i want to execute so in 2019 i kind of have some ideas of things that i might want to embark on but today's video and because we are going into winter in addition to coming out of the Christmas holidays, so things have kind of just calmed down, and my anxiety is down, and other reasons my anxiety is down, so I figured that I would just give you a brief little refresh tour of the apartment without all of the decor. The next video that I want to share with you guys definitely will be the office. I'm going to Ikea in the morning. To get my desk i seen one that i think will be perfect for the spot in there plain simple white just what i need okay um so that is the only room that you guys won't see in the tour but i definitely will show you when that is complete and i actually have somebody that has offered to drive me down there to ikea and it, you know it's not mr reed anyway so today i'm just going to kind of show you around the apartment which you guys have already seen but I think a lot of you love seeing it and I think the blush has rubbed off on you guys some of you guys anyway as it has me it is one of the most calming girly fun happy colors I think I've touched since probably the blue the blue for me is always going to be like a part of my heart but it is um, what's the word? I just can't get it as glamified as I would like. I know if I put the effort into it, I totally could. But the blush pink, the solo, single, living alone girl, Barbie-ish, so, so girly, girly, it's just giving me life. And it's a color that I think, it is, it is a color that's on trend right now, but it's also a color that has been around for a while. In different shades and with the lightness and airiness and softness of this color even when the trend is gone I think this will still be a very beautiful look basically so what I'm gonna do in this tour I'm gonna stop yapping and I'm just gonna briefly just show you around what you've already seen minus Christmas decor and stuff like that if you're brand new to my channel, I hope that you will subscribe, become part of a wonderful, fabulous family where we are all about positivity over here. Turn your bells on because I don't think you guys are getting my notifications like you should be. So make sure that you your bell is on and that you are part of the family by hitting the subscribe button because it is free 99 It doesn't cost you a dime. So we're just going to go through briefly, show you kind of the refreshing. Now, you know my mama uh, pretty much cleaned my house for the winter, as did as I, 
before she came in and then did her thing or whatever. So the house is pretty much how it always is for the most part. However, I do get a little messy in here sometimes because it is just me, but um, it pretty much stays how it is. And I just have to clean off like all the mirrors and I love wiping things down, loving the smell of cleanliness. So my clean with me is be basically just wipe downs, kind of a sort of. So I'm just going to show you around um, how I put things back pretty much where they were. Um, especially if you're new here, hopefully you can get some ideas. This is an apartment, in case you don't know. This is an apartment. You can totally turn your apartment, like I always say, into the home of your dreams, be it it's an apartment. It's, it's all about where you live and how you decorate and what the feeling it is that you want to get from the space. So, I'm going to take you over here by the door like we did before, and then I'll just show you what the apartment looks like minus Christmas decor and I hope you guys enjoy and of course take something away totally copycat whatever it is you need to do to get your space feeling like you love it and like I love my space um do that you guys know I don't mind we a lot of the times when I haul stuff or you haul stuff we end up getting some of the same pieces but the beauty of it is is we don't live together so I don't have to see Doors all the time. You don't have to see mine's all. Well, you do when I'm on camera, but whatever. So let's go ahead and get started with how I kind of put things back together. And yeah, let's just do that. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you guys at the end. I'm so glad I'm feeling so much better, you guys. And this always helps. Just in case you're wondering, this is cupcake wine, white wine. Okay, let's get started with a little basic tour. Okay, so here's the door. Everything went back to the normal. I don't know if you guys remember the last, the original tour, but I had I had that mirror up so high, and it was so much space in between the uh, thingamajig. I did move it down so that it would be, you could see more of yourself. Anyway, I have the same pretty much thing on there that I had. There's my beautiful apothecary jar with candies in it. Um, that's what I'm burning there. And then, of course, my beautiful candles there, of course. And again, the room right here behind me is the office area. You guys won't see that until it's done. So coming out here, let me just grab this real quick. Just saying. And that is cake left over from our uh, pajama party. Bar stools are still pretty much where they were. Everything is pretty much still the same, just minus the Christmas um, decor. So grab as many ideas as you guys need or want um, for your place. And I'm going to try to go really, really slow here. I was just covered up over here, which is why that blanket is there. Let me back up this way over here so you can kind of see in a different angle that way. There is my lovely stools, which I absolutely love there. And then, of course, all that came back to its original. I'll show you the little baby bathroom. Nothing to it, really. I just took the Christmas decor out. I did leave that pink uh, snowflake um, hand towel over there. And nothing much really to see here. Just, you know, bathroom stuff, okay? And so let's go back over this way into the living room area, which is... Really what changed the most because of the tree that came out of here. And all of that jazz. And so that's pretty much what that looks like there. And then again over here with the three-piece set. 
you guys, I definitely am going to be changing these flowers out. Again, I just have them there as placeholders just to get an idea if I wanted to do white flowers. And I do want some that are much more lush than those little tiny ones in that big old vase. But I'm actually loving the actual setup of it. But the flowers will change. I'm even loving that the little cake stand situation that I put together in addition to the other pieces. You know, I don't like it for it to match. I want it to look like I collected some stuff. And I think that's really, really cute. And it does give me that height dimension that I want there. And then back here, everything pretty much stayed the same in the sunroom here. Pretty much there is those beautiful ish mozzie gallery candle burning of course you know that already and then the little everything on the one side is on the other side i did get me some plug-ins you guys i haven't had plug-ins in years and i actually bought some and they smell so so good so that's the sunroom area back there and then of course you know you can see from here over to here like that and then again on this side same thing i'm not going to put anything here i don't want i think i like how it's you know pretty much open or whatever so this is what my living room is looking like that beautiful plush rug is everything to me of course this is a shoe free home so i don't anticipate it getting nasty or dirty or anything like that um just because you know it's a shoe free house and we don't well i sometimes drink in here but most you know guests or whatever they don't typically drink in here like that so that is what the living area looks like and some of you let me know sharon i'm totally still in your style that is totally fine with me you guys that you guys remember this is from the house um the other apartment i mean with the greenery in it um and then of course the bling plate stuff there bar cart pretty much still the same does have some alcohol at the bottom over here pretty much things stayed the same or went back to the same i should say um i did move him over here just for a pop of gold and then I have a candle burning and my palm tree. This is why I didn't want to put another palm tree over in the area that you guys were saying. Put one over there. I, I knew I didn't want that over there. And here's the kitchen. Here I have my cute little uh, rugs down. Those are so cute. And then I have these uh, hand towels here. Stop and drink rosé my um big mug right here that i got for christmas i believe um it says uh, yeah i read you this one already and then in the inside it has dollar signs because you know you're all about making her some money so the kitchen pretty much stayed the same everything is the same in here i may change those flowers out um eventually to some more fluffy flowers you guys know i love flowers and whatnot and so this is what this looks like from this direction here okay and so again everything is back to its normal self minus christmas now look let me just say this over here in this corner, the blank wall. It's okay sometimes to leave some things blank. Like, see that little, that's blank. That's okay because there's so much around it. But I feel like <laughs> over in this corner needs something. Okay? Do not get down in them comments telling me what you think. I done told y'all, leave me alone. I'm just suggesting that I think it might need something and I may not put something there. 
but this is what the girly house looks like and then coming on down the hallway i'm still waiting for some more brooches totally dazzled if you're watching send your girl some brooches all colors all kinds everything else pretty much stayed the same laundry room i am washing clothes i'm waiting for those to dry i'm washing and drying at the same time i do like how that turned out it just looks so much cleaner and neater in here in the laundry room so that is that and then coming out of there back into the paint room this room did get used for the holidays you guys it definitely did let me see if i could turn on the light make it a little bit brighter for you now this is just basically what this guest best guest best Guest bedroom looks like the paint room in here. King refuses to sleep in this room, y'all, because it is pink, and he is just not having it. So that's that room, and it stays clean all the time. I just go in and kind of dust. And then, of course, the queen's room. This is the room that I'm going to be changing out the pink, I mean the pink, the yellow for the eggplant purpley eggplant color or whatever um i'm kind of starting to get a vision i've been on pinterest stalking of course and so that's what that looks like toilet has been fixed you guys thank god um i have a candle burning in here look how cozy that looks oh my and it smells so good i don't want to turn the fan on because it is so freaking loud but the toilet has been fixed and my little uh, spa station. Let me put this back up here. Because this is normally where it goes. The candle goes in there. So that's my little spa station. I'm getting low on my Epsom salt. Because I've really been soaking it up. Sorry the toilet seat is up. But this is basically how it looks. <laughs> okay. Um... I just uh, fell in the tub. Um, hold on. Just wait a minute. Wait, wait. Okay, look at where I am. Okay, I ripped the shower curtain down. And I'm literally sitting in the tub. Backed up. Didn't realize it was there. Do I have four feet or no? Nah? Okay, I'm in the tub, y'all. Trying to... Oh, my God. What the heck is really... Okay, uh, I'm out the tub now from the fall. Girl, I can't win. Anyway, this is what the bathroom <laughs> looks like, okay? This is basically just what the bathroom looks like. Let me get the heck out of here. Honey, I done fell in the tub doing the tour. Okay, really, Sharon? Like, for real. My bedroom... You'll be seeing it change to a very sexy like eggplant purple color. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, what is happening with the lighting? I think the battery is dying. Okay. Okay. I don't know what just happened. But, uh, <laughs> needless to say, I hope you enjoyed the little brief walkthrough tour minus the christmas de decor and things of that nature i'm really trying to get into winter mode like i'm gonna have a my personal winter essential video coming up really really soon for you guys things that's gonna help me get through the cold winter ugly months like it is actually today it's just rainy and cloudy and gray and just look like uh a day to stay in um so i'm gonna be doing that video it'll come later sharon's personal winter essentials that she needs to survive the winter months um and again i hope you enjoyed the little brief walkthrough hope it wasn't too fast um I need to pay more attention when I am trying to tour something because I don't know how I ended up in the freaking tub. Okay? I don't know. Two falls in one day. Two days. What the heck is really going on, honey? I'm just saying. 
<sighs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> Anywho, and no, it ain't this because I hadn't had it enough for that to even have been the problem. I don't know. I just forgot the bathtub was in the bathroom, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. But I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I will see you guys in probably one of the hair videos. I don't know. Both of them have been done and in queue. I'm glad that that is over with. The third one I don't have to do because they actually sent me the wrong hair. So that's a good thing because I was a little bit under pressure about that. Um, so this hair video and then the red hair. Well, wait a minute. The red hair has already went up. Never mind. This hair is the one that will go up and the whole little shenanigans and the little show I put on for you guys. So it's not just hair. It's a little show you get with the hair or whatever. So, I am, for the remainder of the day, I'm just going to stay in the house. People watch because it is raining. It's chilly. It's not chilly. It's cold outside. I'll probably order in something to eat um, unless it slacks up just a little bit. I want to go over to Mink's house and get my fingernail. You know, all think I might be crazy, but I'm legit going to get my fingernail and I'm gluing it back on. Because it's not as sore as it was. So I'm going over there. Let me see if it's still raining, y'all. Wait a minute. Well, it's down to a little baby drizzle. So I'm okay with that. I'm going over there to get my fingernail. I'm gluing my nail back on. And I don't care what y'all say. Because she cannot. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. So I'm going to go do that. And then I will catch you guys in either the hair video or another video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the, you know, the brief walk. The only room you didn't get to see again was the blue room um, because my daughter is in there. My oldest daughter is in there and her grandkids, grandkids, my grandkids, her kids are in there taking a nap. So you won't get to see that. You didn't get to see that room, but soon you will, actually. Um, very soon, to be honest with you, actually. So, anyway, I hope you're having an amazing day today. Um, again, I keep saying this. I hope you had a great holiday. Hope you're prepared for the new year, the new refresh, the new whatever it is you got planned in the new year. I just want you guys to... Really focus in on what it is you want out of 2019. Be grateful for what you had in 2018. Learn lessons from 2018 that you don't possibly take into 2019. Vice versa. Start reading inspirational books. Listen to inspirational speakers. Um, as you're falling off to sleep. I know you guys like watching me as you go off to sleep. You can watch me first and then watch an inspirational speaker. Having that playing in your mind while you sleep makes a huge difference. It really, really does. And I just want the best for you guys. I just want everyone to succeed and have a great life. And just, you know, enjoy the little time that we have here. Why not, you know? Um, and that's what I want for you guys. I love you. I appreciate all of your support. No matter what I put up, counting the hair videos, okay? Um, counting those. Um, and I just want to thank you guys for being here with me through my journey of this thing called YouTube. You know, I'm so appreciative of that. I'm not going to give a long spiel for 2019, all of that jazz. I've told you guys the real. Stay positive. Stay focused. Keep negative people out of your circle. Be careful what you tell people because everybody don't have your best interest at heart, sister, brother, okay? Um, and just live your best life to the best of your ability. Live your best life the way you can live your best life. Not how the Joneses, not how the Martins or the whoever else is living their best life. Live yours according to how it fits your best life. Whatever that might mean. 
okay? Mm -hmm. Hope you got your little laugh on because I fell in the bathtub or whatever. Oh my God. So I will catch you guys in the next video. As always, it was a pleasure hanging out with you guys. These mink lashes, honey, is no joke. Look how long, girl. Your girl is about to totally switch over to the mink, son. The mink is giving me the ooh wee. Look at her eyes. Look, at, and I don't even have on. Well, yeah, I do, cause I did a, the hair video and I was really, really glammed up. Like I just kind of gave y'all a New Year's Eve go out if you want to type of look with the hair or whatever. The curls have dropped a little bit, which I like. And so that being said, I'm just cherry chatter and I'll get out, gonna find me a good movie to watch. And probably take me a little baby nap. I'm always taking a little baby nap. Take me a little baby nap. Tomorrow, I believe I'm going to head out to Ikea, get that desk. And hopefully, I don't run into anything else in Ikea that I don't need to get. But that I probably will convince myself that I do need it and end up getting it. Um, but I do need a couple a couple things in my office to make it functional for what it is I'm, you know, doing in 2019. I need that office space to be on point, basically, my little cozy corner that I love more than anything. So, hugs and kisses. Mwah. I know you hate to see your girl go, but I've got to go. I will catch you very, very soon in another video. Hopefully, this one will go up in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and upload it for you guys so you can have it to watch early in the day or when you get off work. Hope you had a wonderful day today. Eat good dinner tonight and just love and hug on your family, whoever they are, or your friends, or whatever the case may be. And know that this too shall pass, whatever it is, okay? Hugs and kisses one more time. Mwah! Love you guys to the moon and back. Everyone stay blessed. Stay positive. Stay prayed up. Don't let nobody dictate y'all mood, family. Especially going into 2019. Do something good for yourself, family. And always do something good for somebody else. But be careful while you're doing it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Bye, y'all.